reaction in organisms. Learning about how respiration takes place in organisms. In our school sports day, Amit took part in 100 meters race. As soon as the race started, he started running in full speed and won the race. He was breathing rapidly, but suddenly the question got stuck in his mind. He wondered why running makes a person breathe faster. The answer to Amit's question lies in understanding why we breathe. Breathing is a part of respiration. Now, let us learn about respiration. We know that all organisms are made of small microscopic units called cells. A cell is the smallest structural and functional unit of an organism. Each cell of an organism performs certain functions such as nutrition, transport, excretion and reproduction. To perform these functions, cell needs energy. Even when we are eating, sleeping or reading, we require energy. But where does this energy come from? Can you see why your parents insist that you should eat regularly? The food has stored energy, which is released during respiration. Therefore, all living organisms respire to get energy from food. During breathing, we breathe in air. You know that air contains oxygen. We breathe out air which is rich in carbon dioxide. The air we breathe in is transported to all parts of the body and ultimately to each cell. In the cells, oxygen in the air helps in the breakdown of food. The process of breakdown of food in the cell with the release of energy is called cellular respiration. Cellular respiration takes place in the cells of all organisms. In the cell, the food, that is glucose, is broken down into carbon dioxide and water using oxygen. When breakdown of glucose occurs with the use of oxygen, it is called aerobic respiration. Food can also be broken down without using oxygen. This is called anaerobic respiration. Breakdown of food releases energy. You should know that there are some organisms such as yeast that can survive in the absence of air. They are called anaerobies. They get energy through anaerobic respiration. In the absence of oxygen, glucose breaks down into alcohol and carbon dioxide as given below. Without the use of oxygen, glucose is equal to alcohol plus carbon dioxide plus energy. Information Yeasts are single-celled organisms. They respire anaerobically and during this process yield alcohol. They are therefore used to make wine and beer. Our muscle cells can also respire anaerobically but only for a short time. 
when there is temporary deficiency of oxygen. During heavy exercise, fast running, cycling, walking for many hours or heavy weight lifting, the demand for energy is high. But the supply of oxygen to produce the energy is limited. Then an aerobic respiration takes places in the muscle cells to fulfill the demand of energy. The cramps occur when muscle cells respire anaerobically. The partial breakdown of glucose produces lactic acid. The accumulation of lactic acid causes muscle cramps. Show accumulation of lactic acid causing muscle cramps. We get relief from cramps after a hot water bath or a massage. Can you guess why it is so? Hot water bath or massage improves circulation of blood. As a result, the supply of oxygen to the muscle cells increases. The increase in the supply of oxygen results in the complete breakdown of lactic acid into carbon dioxide and water. Summary Respiration is essential for survival of living organisms. It releases energy from the food. The oxygen we inhale is used to break down glucose into carbon dioxide and water. Energy is released in the process. The breakdown of glucose occurs in the cells of an organism, that is, cellular respiration. If the food is broken down with the use of oxygen, it is called aerobic respiration. If the breakdown occurs without the use of oxygen, the respiration is called anaerobic respiration. During heavy exercise, when the supply of oxygen to our muscle cells is insufficient, food breakdown is by anaerobic respiration. So, that is all in this topic. Let us learn about respiration in our next topic.